I did this, you tried that, you copy me, that's my swag, that's my style, give it back, three words, I said trick! All right, you guys, welcome to my first um, podcast. I don't have my intro music or <laughs> anything, but this topic to me was just, um, I know it touched me because I have a group chat with my cousins, which is sitting right here. This is Star. Ooh. Star, say hello to everybody. Hey, guys. <laughs> and so um, she had hit us up one morning, and we, I wish I was asleep, first of all, not out. Then, you know, it's, out of nowhere, I get a text message, ding, and I'm looking at my phone, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? The title alone, I'm like, man, kills girlfriend and baby, not, what? <laughs> yeah, and so um, when I look at it, I'm like, this is crazy. I was like, this is, this is my first podcast. I want to talk about this because I was, I literally cried. Mm-hmm. On the phone to her, I'm like, cause she she's a mother of two, so that's why I brought her because I feel like no one can feel another person's hurt unless you're going through that same type of situation, like being a mother. So, um, if y'all haven't heard the story, Brandon Isabel, he's from Memphis, and um, he was, uh, I guess, allegedly going. He had a wife, right? A, a wife, wife a well, girl, ex-wife, ex-wife, a girlfriend, and, and then a baby the baby mama. mama. Right, and it's saying that he didn't want the baby mama. No, he didn't want the girlfriend to find out about the baby mama. mama. Well, the baby. Okay. And that he was talking to her too, right? I don't know. <laughs> See, I don't know that part. That's is what we were just getting from right. like people who are from Memphis saying that he's allegedly had a ex-wife, right. a girlfriend, right. and he had a baby mama. And the baby right. mama had a two-day-old child. Right. And it's saying that the, the girlfriend, present one, didn't know. So we're going to play the clip from the news and then we're going to just give you like what we think how we feel and you know in the comments if you want to just you know put your opinions and y'all discuss amongst each other that's amazing the young father memphis police say admitted to throwing his two two day old baby into the mississippi river after killing her mother that's crazy that's it's sick it's that is that like i can't even imagine what her parents are feeling friends Cause like to lure somebody, she's thinking like, cause it was just his birthday, right? So she's probably thinking, oh, you want to come see me? It's yeah, your you birthday. Yeah, you want to see the baby? We just not had the baby two, two days, days old. Yes. You in the hot when you when the baby comes out of the hospital? That's two days. Yes, that's two days. And it's just like if you didn't want to be with somebody, just let them, leave them go. Alone. Like just leave them alone. Like, cause to you. You're trying to hide this girl. Right. And you're trying to hide this baby. Mm-hmm. But now the whole world right. knows Everybody what knows you just him. did. Like, sh- they know. So you you killed an innocent person and a child. And if you listen to what they just said, they said he threw the baby in the water. Imagine, like, a two-year-old just, it, it, they're drowning. No, that's a two-day-old baby. I said, oh, two-year-old baby. Right. That baby don't even drowning. know he here on this, she's here on this earth right. yet. And you toss her. But then I'm thinking about it. You know how, to, like, when you're first out of a mama's womb, mm-hmm. you're used to being in liquid. So what if that child is just down there floating? You know what, though? Because that, you know, you know how they say if you throw a baby back in water, they, they're going to still they're gonna be okay. They're going to adapt to their environment, yeah. Because that's so like, what if that? Oh my god, that's just so much. Like my thing is, I feel like it was premeditated because it's Had no be. way, unless you just a demon straight out the bats of hell, right? That can just be like, oh, I'm killing my baby mama and the baby, my baby today. And my thing is, that's your blood as well. Yes. That is, is your child. My thing, you could have just left them alone. If you didn't want to be a father, mm-hmm. if you didn't want to be with her, you got, leave them alone. Leave them where they stand. Right. You could have just walked away from it. That's my thing. But to take their life, like you're playing God. Right. That, that, ain't, that ain't the way to go. Men are, I, I feel... Men are kind of selfish nowadays. They're selfish, and they think about themselves. Right. Not all, mm-hmm. but certain men. Yeah. What what, what what can I call them? Like, not insecure, but just, I don't know what I would call them. Just inconsiderate <laughs> ass men. <laughs> not all, because I don't want people like, well, all men aren't like that, because my yeah, dad ain't not, like that. Yeah, they're not. All men are not like that. But I, I don't even know what type of man that is. But I'm trying to understand what was his thought process of them – them not being here, okay. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Like, if when you got rid of them or murdered them, whatever you was going to do, 
that still wasn't gonna. You still had a baby. You still had a baby mama. Mm-hmm. Now you going to jail for taking yep. lives that you could have just left here. Exactly. Like did just you... like any other baby that they don't want the baby, they get the hell off. <laughs> Hello. So why you just couldn't be one of them? She wouldn't have been the first baby mama. She wouldn't have been the last baby mama. I, I'm, I'm the reason I'm so lost at work. Like I am that. Like I am thrown. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, how do you wake up and say, "I'm gonna go shoot my baby mama," then after I shoot her, I'm gonna throw You'll my go child, toss my baby in the in river. The like, what was so stressful on your life? That you just said, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I want to end it. Yeah. I mean, because now you're you're in jail. like For life. You're done. Because there's no way you possibly thought, I'm going to get away from this. Do you not think her family's not going to look for her? Right. The baby was two days oh, old. So people yeah. are like, where's my grandchild? Where's Was my it? niece? Mm-hmm. Where's this? Mm-hmm. You know, and there's no way you were going to get away with it. So that's what I'm trying to understand. <laughs> what is it solving? Like, what is it solving? Do you think he got like high, drunk? Like, I can't wrap my yeah, I mind figure it out because- around why you would want to do this. And then to a baby, something that's so innocent, so pure, knows nothing. That baby don't even know that you're, that's my daddy. This right. is my mom. Right. This is your two days right. on this that earth. That baby didn't even process that he's here on this earth. And you take it into your hands to <laughs> kill a woman that just had your child. Carry that baby for nine months for you, for y'all. Right. And you take her life when she just risked her life to have a, a child. Baby. Mm. And then you take that child and toss it in the river. Do you know what go in the river? People piss in the river. People spit in the river. People throw trash in the river. This and you dude. throw a child in the river. Like, you have no regard for human life. You have no regard for anything. You have no sympathy, no empathy, no feelings, no anything. And to know you've been around a monster like that. Yeah. That shit is sick. That shit is sick. And that's why I feel like it's no way he woke up one day and was like, yeah, I'm just going to kill both of them. I'm just going to get. No, it's no way. You think he's been thinking it? He's been thinking it. That's the first thing you do when them folks get out of the hospital is kill them? Cause once you have a baby, the hospital is sending you home unless you having complications. It, I had my baby two days later. I'm back at home with my newborn. Yeah, cause there's I, like you said, there's no way you just woke up and said, "This is what I'm gonna do." Yeah, you, you been had like to when think they get home, this. I'm gonna do. I'm this gonna do what I gotta do. I don't want well, people felt to find like out. Had to do. Yeah, I was looking at people's comments. They were like, "I'm I'm against death penalty." What would you think, honey? Would you want that, or would honey, you just be like, let them do what they want to do? In somebody jail? better get them before I get them. Because like I am, I'm against death penalty, but. I don't know. I get what you're saying, but me, being, like, a, me being a mama, <laughs> y'all it. better Kill get him, him before I get him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I want him to stay in jail for life, period. Yeah. Yes. But, like, do you think Because a I life feel like life? death penalty is the easy way out because you it's like. You want him to suffer. I want you to feel it. Yeah. I want you to feel it. The same way that, like, the baby is suffering. Like, yeah. they said they. That po- baby had to drown in that water. They're, it's cold. They're postponing. What well, she said, they're postponing trying to find that baby because of weather conditions. That means that baby was there for that day, the next, next day, day, and until the weather got better. And then what's. You don't know what's, what's down in there. the river. You if got it's animals trying in the river. to eat That's the baby. baby. You don't know. And that baby cannot fend, fight, or anything for itself. It's two days old. That baby can barely stay muscle, up long yeah, enough. Your muscles haven't even formed. Your All bones the baby do are is weak. sleep. Exactly. I cannot imagine my two day old baby getting tossed into a river. She ain't fighting for her life. And then they're saying postponing due to the weather. I don't give a damn if it was her. Find well, my baby. Find my child. <laughs> I, I don't give. I don't care if it yeah. ain't tornado and hurricane. And find my child because at this point we already know the outcome. Yeah. You but know. find my child. But she she can't even fight to find her child because she dead too. And then so like, now you got a family out here. And what is so stupid to me is you kill this girl. And your child for a allegedly for a girl that you didn't want to find out, but now you can't even have her. You can't have none of these women that you all find yeah, out. all the women that you suppose allegedly had out here, you can't even have them now. So like, do people not think <laughs> don't about the consequences or the outcome that's gonna happen? Like, oh, I'm gonna do this so I can have that. Nick, you you have nothing now. now. You have nothing. And you took an innocent life so you could be happy, but now you don't have 
anything. But he couldn't have thought that he was going to be He happy. didn't. It's no way you could have thought. Because if I know, man, if I'm going to go kill two people, I know darn well I'm going to get caught. I ain't finna be with nothing around nobody have nothing. It's no way. Unless you wanted to end up in jail. Like, because what was it that bad that you had to kill them just to get rid of, it? like, for you, what? Well, you know, sometimes people think temporary problems are, um, what's the word? Temporary problems are, like, longevity or whatever. I don't, I don't know how to word it right. Cause it's, <laughs> but you're and, killing I know, them. but people think in the moment that, oh, at this moment right now is severe to me mm -hmm. like to us we're like just go tell your girlfriend that you have another baby but to him it was like be probably like, like a life-changing situation like, Dang, i'm gonna be a father I'm, gonna be this. Gonna I'm not ready girlfriend. and yeah and like to him it was like oh my world is crumbling down I'm not trying to give him no benefit of the doubt but i'm just saying you got to put yourself in him. like think like him like i'm trying to think <sighs> And no, I don't, I don't, ain't no, for me, ain't yeah, no ain't no, way around it. Yeah, but like, yeah, because we have hearts, we have a yeah. conscience, and he, he, because probably, I know everything that I'm thinking, thinking of is not amounting it's, to yeah, what it's I'm not adding face. up. Yeah, 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 it's not, but you know, it's like some people, they may be like, oh, you know, my lights are off and I don't have money for this, but to us, it's like, okay, well, just. You know, go ask somebody for money or, oh, go do but this. But is like, no, and I can't go ask somebody Yeah, for I don't want to do that. Be, yeah, I don't want to do that because I want to feel like I'm a burden. You know? But if they're your family, they're going to help you. So to us, it's like, well, just go do this. But to him, it was like having a baby, having a girlfriend. It was probably like, and then you don't know what else he was dealing with. And he probably snapped. I'm not, again, I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt. But it could have just been more problems and more problems and more problems. And then he just thought, okay, well, if I could just handle this one, then I can handle that one. I can handle this one. But well, again, it sounds it's like, like, sir, you're the, problem. you're the problem, right? <laughs> so if that's the case, handle you, handle you. And, and we're, not saying, them alone. we're yeah. not saying suicide but do is the what answer. You got to do for you. Yes. If you had to go disappear, go ghost, go. Yes. Handle bye. you. Bye. Yeah. Wow. But, but taking on the role of God, it's that, that's not never free. the answer. Yeah. Like my mama said, you ain't gonna be the first baby mama, you ain't gonna be the last, last. baby mama. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, because like, you had multiple times to say Yeah, you had multiple times this to say is not right. You had multiple times like when you was going to when he was going to her house to lure her. I not one time did you be like, Man, let me let me chill out. Yeah, like what am I well, doing? Well let me like I'm tripping. I'm I'm going And then you didn't they say he shot her in the head? In the head, you lured her somewhere, shot her in the head and left her there outside her car. Yes. And took the baby from her and you went and drove. And toss the baby over in the river. And then you left and the you gun left there, too. You tossed the gun in the Mississippi River. Child. Yeah, y'all. You could have at least took your life as well. If that, if that's what, if you, if that's what you felt like that was your last yes. resort was to kill you. You should have took, you, you should have did, did the whole you. nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now you, that's why I feel like you're just a selfish, Ass demonized fucking. human person because Ain't no way you took their lives but felt like your life was okay was, enough yeah, like, and good why? enough to stack. <laughs> what, please? So, yes. That's why I feel like y'all better get them before Probably I get them. Because <laughs> yes. there's no way. Yes. There's no way. No, that makes sense because, like, yeah, you did those innocent people, but you like, oh, well, I'm scot free. I'm, I'm going to go live I'm my good, life. I'm good, though. They gone. I'm good. Hell no. Nah. Yes. No. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've, I've had a friendship with somebody I knew when, you know what I'm saying, her and her Mm -hmm. Baby, I got to it, and he took my friend's life, and he took his life as well. Cause in his mind, he probably like, like Shit, I can't, yeah, I, can't. I ain't finna get away with this. Yeah, and you gotta live with that. Like for him to think he can be able to live with that on his conscience that he killed his child and his baby mother, mm -hmm. and then you know what? And else was, spare yourself. And what else was sick? Then you go to the police station and be like, and say, "This is what I did." This is what I did. That's why I feel like did he snap out and snap back? <sighs> Jesus. Like you, you admit it to everything. And exactly. You, yeah, you never know who you're laying with. Yeah, you never know who you're laying with. You never know. Just like that mama probably didn't know that. That boy probably been in at her, at her house. Because mind you, when they said, they said he had no prior records of being in any legal trouble. problem. Yeah. yeah. He don't look like he a trouble he had, person. Yes, and he's not ugly. He's a handsome man. You know what I'm saying? It's, you would never know who's in your house and who's in your in your environment, who's around your spirit. You never know. You never know. And that's the scary part. Because then you got to look at what 
what happened in your childhood to make you feel like, okay, I got a wife, and then we get a divorce, allegedly, because I don't know if he really had a wife, but this is just people in Memphis when you have people. Because when, when I put it on my Instagram story, right. people were hitting me up from Memphis saying, yeah, he had an ex-wife, then he had a girlfriend, and then she was the baby mama. So what happened in your childhood or in your past, you know? But then allegedly, also, they were saying that Either the ex-wife or the girlfriend knew about the baby. Yeah, they said she knew. So it's like if she knew, what then there was, the was no problem? purpose. You just didn't want to be a daddy. Yeah. So I'm just, like I said, what happened in your life to make you, you know, want to, you know, go through so many women and, you know, and not respect women? Mm -hmm. Is it something you saw growing up? Mm -hmm. Did, you know, something happen in the midst of dating women to where you just lost respect for women? Mm -hmm. Like what happened? And we... Only he knows. And sometimes we don't know that we're fighting demons because we're so busy trying to, you know, hide them and sweep them under the rug like shit ain't happening. Because, you know, in the black community, black men are taught to, you know, don't speak your emotions. Don't do this. Don't do that. And so maybe he was really fighting some shit and was just like, you know what? Fuck it. And sometimes in the black community, the black community normalizes a lot of toxic, like toxicity. Mm -hmm. Like him... You know, not knowing how to treat women. Not all black men. Not all, yeah. Not all black men. Like, not knowing how to treat but women. Him. Right. We're talking about him. Yeah, talking about him. <laughs> We're talking about Brandon Isabel. Yeah. Like, sometimes, a lot of, some black men, they lack guidance. Mm -hmm. And I see that a lot with, like, the breed of men that are, like, in my generation. Mm -hmm. They lack a lot of guidance. So, like, it, and they don't have good examples. So yeah. if that's just like with me, if I'm not around people that are doing good, having good, or you don't see, when you don't see good stuff in front of you, if you always seeing bad and always seeing negativity, regardless if you want to adapt to that or not, you are going to. Mm -hmm. So like with the black community and with men, if you don't, if a man doesn't, if a younger man doesn't see older men, you know, providing in the household yeah. or, um, being the protector, the provider. Mm -hmm. If black young black men don't see that, they're gonna be like, "Well, she, he ain't doing it. I ain't, I ain't doing, doing it. it." Yeah, and that's why, and you have to have. That's why I always tell people you have to have like a strong mindset mm -hmm. to to get yourself out of that, right? Because that's like with me, I could have been, you know, doing whatever. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but then again, look at your example. Yeah, look at your dad. He was the perfect example. My daddy, perfect example. Anything I did outside of that, so why do you, that was my fault. Yeah. But I know I was raised. Right? But there are some people who have good guidance. And, then and they, they go, still choose. Because like you said, it's what you surround yourself around. Yes. So you could be like from a good family. Yeah. And but then you all of a sudden you hang out, out over there in the bluff. Yeah. You know. And then now what you want to do. Yeah. You're adapting to your so, environment. Yeah. Because nine times when you think about it, you were around your friends in school more than you really at home. Yeah. You were around other people more than you really around who raised you. Mm -hmm. So like, it's really like 50, 50. <laughs> and then the all could doodles down back to your mind. And it how goes back. Of your mind and then it goes back to what you were like, what was your family teaching at home? So right. therefore, even though you're around your friends more, mm -hmm. whatever your family was teaching you, you will be like, man, I know this ain't right. You know, yeah, I know. Damn Cause I used did. to be scared. Like if I, man, I know I gotta get home. If exactly, I don't get home, like, my mom gonna be mad at him. Street light, oh, I know I'm going <laughs> to get slapped out, cussed out and phone taken. Like you just gotta, you, if yet mine ain't there, ain't nothing there. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's just like you never know, like he you, he probably never knew how to deal with depression. He probably never knew how to deal with a lot being on his plate. He could have been silver spoon fed. He probably mm -hmm. never knew how to tackle situations, handle situations. If this, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. So to him, he felt like if this one thing happened, everything I got is just going to go to shit. Mm -hmm. Some people don't know how to handle situations. Some people feel like when one thing go bad, everything, everything goes bad. Go bad. Yeah. And he probably was just like, this is how I have to handle it. Mm -hmm. like, I got to do this. If I don't want this at all, I got to do this to have not have it at all. <sighs> yeah. And it's sad that two lives had to be Taken ended because, of, because of, your... of something you couldn't handle. Yeah, your choice. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I feel like if you're going to be that type of person to have this woman, that woman, that woman, and be. Know what you're getting yourself into. into. And if you're going to be engaged in the sexual activities, it takes two to tangle. You know what come out of that. Yeah. You could have easily put on a condom. Yeah. Easily. So. 
Because like, and some people were saying that he. This is what people were saying. Now you know, you, you know, you start, you know, Allegedly. when something happens, you start looking at comments. You start mm-hmm. trying to find everything because we, yeah. <laughs> we like, we like I to be went detectives. From TikTok to Facebook. To- <laughs> I- I'm CIA on my space. Is he on my space? Let me see what they do. <laughs> right. No, no, I'm like, I can yes, handle the case I'm myself. Taking everybody, I'm, I'm taking everybody page. I'm like, what's she saying? <laughs> she from Memphis too? Let me see what they talking about. I'm on Facebook, Twitter. I'm just like, what in the world? So they're allegedly saying that um, he wanted her to have an abortion and she didn't. And she kept the baby. But that still doesn't give you the right to be like, I told you to do this and you didn't do it. So boom, boom, boom. This is what I'm going to do. If y'all was tangling with like grown folks. You can't tell a woman what to do with her body. Yeah. You knew what you were doing when we was engaging in sexual activities. You know what come from that and not using a condom? It's a 50, it's a 50% chance I will get pregnant. 50% chance I won't. I got pregnant. Boom. It is what it is. You don't want to be a dad. You want to take care of the baby. Boom. Bye. Do you think he'll take his life in jail? Should have took his life out of jail. And then just not took the mother too out. Right. Cause when he get in jail, oh, they gonna get him. They gonna get him. Cause that's one thing about I ain't never been to jail for a long period of time. But you know what's so funny? But, People say that I'm not gonna talk too much. People always be like, oh, when you get in prison or when you get in jail, oh, they gonna do this to you. I know somebody I in prison. It. I believe it. And they didn't do anything. <laughs> Shit, they didn't know for their reasons too. They trying to get out. Hush. So I'm just saying other people. Oh, I'm just like, they no, probably but, ain't going to do nothing. Right, but they didn't, like, you know how, like, they make it seem like, oh, when you go to jail for this, when you go to jail for that, they're going to just do this and get you and da-da-da-da. Mm-hmm. Which, I'm not, I don't wish bad on nobody because yeah. I don't want nothing to come in. But, you know, you I know. feel like karma's karma. So whatever happens to you in there, that's your shit. Yeah. But they didn't do nothing to that person. But at the end of the day, it's not their job, too, though. Either. Yeah, so that's why. They probably feel like this his situation. God going to take care of him. And karma going to But he did say too. he was approached, though. Yeah. About, you know, they said they had money on the head and they were going to do this. That's do. crazy. And it's like they can't really speak on his situation, too, because you went here, too. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, ca- I can't be in here jumping on you and I done did something to be in here. So, you know what? I just, I just wish he wouldn't have done that, though. Mm-hmm. That baby didn't even, that, it's the baby. It's, even and, the and, and it's the girl, too. It's the girl, too. But it's just like that baby. That baby. And that's your child, too. That's my thing. That's your, your child. Your own it's blood. blood. That's your blood. Yeah. And you just discarded, like, a piece of paper off the side of the road. And as a mama, I wish, I when people look at my child too long, I'd be like, what are you looking <laughs> at? Like, I wish somebody would. Like, I'm right. just trying to fathom, like, what in the, like, I, you know how you try to be like, what would I do? I, I don't even yeah. want to think about what I would do because. I would I, I would have took my mugshot myself and like I'm coming. Yeah, because I can't even I can't even hit my like, I can't even hit my mom. Yes, it's like or my brother you, or my like, sister. Yeah. Like I can't even like, like just no. We don't you know you tussle with your brother and sister, but like I can never like just give my brother or sister a black eye. Yeah, punch like, them. Yeah. So now this is your own. This is you. This ain't your brother and sister. This is your child. Yes, and you kill your own child. And you watch that woman carry your child for nine months. When he went in the, in the jail cell, he admitted it to it, right? You think he went in there and was like, yeah, I fucking killed her. I, I did it. Because, like, how you just go in there and just say, I killed them? So after you did it. So were you happy you did it? And it was just like. Or was it like. I just killed my baby mama and my baby. I'm here to turn myself in. Yeah, was it like that or was it like, was it I like, fucking did it? What? Yeah. Arrest me. Oh, I wish I was just some L in the <laughs> air just to see. Right. He said, okay, so I have been trying to keep from posting because y'all sources is not correct. But I do not have anything to do with what's going on with my son father. I am not his girlfriend. We have been separated for years. She got a baby too? This is the ex-wife. She said we've been separated for years. And I have nothing and to do with my, my son's, son's father. father. Yeah, so he can't be afraid of being a daddy because you already a daddy. But then again, they have been separated for years, so he ain't really been no daddy. <laughs> Y'all have me mixed up with his actual girlfriend. <laughs> I have been at home caring for my son. He had surgery yesterday. I only deal with him solely about our son, nothing more. But they said everyone who had reached out and checked on me and my son. I am sending my thoughts and prayer to Danielle and her family. Now your reasoning for doing any of this is like, for what? So you have to have been protecting, trying to protect, quote unquote, the the 
girlfriend. The girlfriend. Yeah. Because you're not even dealing with the ex-wife anymore. Yeah, the ex-wife was like, we've been, we've been, been yeah, the only time we talk is about our son. son. And clearly the son is with her in her care. So, and then that means that the girlfriend, the present girlfriend. Like, what was so special yeah. about her? I mean, I'm not saying nobody's not special, but like, what was so special that you had to go it's kill the, your sneaky link, I guess, that you probably mistakenly got pregnant. So I wonder if, so if the girl know about the baby, then that mean he had, she had to know about the girl. Cause I know he didn't, she knew he didn't have to create, he couldn't have created a baby by himself. So when they were saying the girl knew, do you think they mean the ex-wife knew or the girlfriend knew? The ex-wife couldn't have known cause she said they haven't been talking. Dealing with each other right. For years. So it had to be the, the allegedly girl, the girlfriend. The, the present knew. girlfriend knows about, knew about the baby. Okay. Let's see what else he got to say. Honey. This could have been you. Okay, this could have been you, all right? So I guess you can count your blessing that you and this man is not together. You right. Know, uh, I could just imagine man, what? whatever made him snap out while he's with the girlfriend, he could have did the same so thing. To you, because you got his son, mm -hmm. right. right. How do I tell my five-year-old son who love his dad that his dad is a murderer? I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So what was it? Like, you ain't around him now, so ain't no But problem. then... When the son gets older, keyword older. Right now, it's not know, the time. Right now, it's not the time. So, yeah, it's, yeah. So I would, yeah, you're right. I would tell him like when he's like fifteen. When he asks me, what if he asks now? Where's daddy? Daddy, he probably not even asking daddy where daddy at right now. But she, he said that the, he loves his daddy, so it's mm -hmm. like because. She said it. He was involved with his daddy. He loved his daddy. All he did was talk about you know when they did speak, it was about the child. Mm -hmm. So. If he asked me what right now where my daddy at? Would you just say jail? Like, no, my your daddy at work. You're lying. Like, yeah, I am lying. <laughs> I am lying. Because right now a five year old cannot process that their dad is a murderer. Yeah, I wouldn't say murder, but I would probably just be he, your daddy's in he's in the bad boy place. Okay, yeah, that's different. I, you're gonna you're murder, gonna go take him to see him at the jail. Yeah. Or would you? Knowing that he just did this to his girlfriend and the child, would you be willing to even go see him in the jail? Mm. Or would you swallow it and do it for your child? Like you know, I'm gonna just go take my child. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm the type of I'm all for not keeping your kids away from the dad if the dad is not causing harm to the child. Now you can't now. Yeah, you definitely can't now. <laughs> I'm saying, but like in that case, mm -hmm. I, like I like you said, I would be like your dad's in a you know in the bad, the bad boy, boy place. place. Yeah. Do you want to go see him, or do you not want to go see him? Yeah, give your child. But I would not make him. I won't be like, we finna go see your daddy. No. Yeah. I'm giving you a choice. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go see your daddy or do you not want to go see your daddy? If he say no, we ain't going. Until he says yes, he wants to go see his dad. Okay, then we'll go see his dad. Right. I'm not gonna take choices and options away from my child. <laughs> I don't want so him to hard. grow up and be like, you never, you never let me go see. No, we're not finna do that. I gave you a choice. Right. So you can't say I didn't let you do. Mm -hmm. I let you choose. Right. And you chose not to. So until you choose that you want to do what you want to do, cool. I support <laughs> it. Know the facts before y'all get to assuming and blaming. Oh, they were saying she had something to do with it. Oh, wow. The girl She ain't got nothing to do with whatever Brandon and his girlfriend had going on. I wonder did the baby mama know about the girl. So see, that's making a spin on it. Because some people are saying, y'all didn't know your facts first, why he did it. So now it's making it seem like, because like we're all trying to figure out, you've had a baby before. Yeah. So you can't say yeah. you don't want to be a father because you're already a father. So do you think the girlfriend was like, you need to handle this? Because mm. there's some conniving women out there. Yes. Women are very conniving. Because like the girl that we knew, so, uh, oh, I don't want to say names, you know, DJ's ex-girlfriend. Oh. And what oh. and what that girl had her um sister mm -hmm. go do in that hotel. Mm -hmm. That was her girlfriend. Yeah. And her girlfriend did that. And she took the blame with her girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And that girl killed the thing her is, baby. She knew about the baby, so she probably like, oh, so, so you out here having babies on me? Yes. So I don't know if y'all know there was a it's, there was a situation here in Atlanta where yeah. the girl, she the the girl girlfriend which is a stud took the babies to the walmart or whatever mm -hmm. and the baby was i guess crying in the store just crying and crying and crying and crying doing what babies do do a baby and then you get in the car and you beat the baby you beat the baby 
not only do you beat the baby, Ooh, you geez. throw the baby uh-huh. in the bushes. Over in an apartment complex. And so then when she does that, she goes back to the girlfriend. The girlfriend knows that you killed my child. They call the police and they tell the police the baby ran away. Because you're trying to save your girlfriend. No damn girlfriend. <laughs> and your baby girlfriend just you killed your had. child. Man, bitch. And you tell the cops your child ran away. Ain't no mm. dick or pussy that good. And will ever be that good <laughs> for me. That I'm going to lie and say my child ran away and I know you killed, killed my them? child? I be want to go to other people and be like, what the fuck was you thinking? I be want to go to people and be like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? And then when they were showing the court footage of her just in there laughing and playing. Yes. So then the girl all of a sudden said, um, you know, she tells, she tells that the girl did she it. Is. But so now I'm thinking, did the girlfriend, you know, that, that is smart because if you, you never had no prior record of being in trouble, and they said she knew about you've had a baby before and was married. Mm-hmm. And so you all of a, all ground. Yes. So now all of a sudden you snap because you have a new girlfriend with a two day old baby. What if the girlfriend, like I said, what if the girlfriend because had control thing, if over just, him? My thing is, he was, because if, if he was crazy like that, he would have killed the first baby that he had with the baby. She was probably if like, he didn't want to be no dad. Because what if she was like, handle this bullshit, I'm going to fucking handle you, nigga, because you cheated on me. Maybe she's fucking crazy. Yeah. And she was like, if you don't handle it, I'm going to kill my motherfucking self. Mm. So he probably like, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I got you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to handle this. Because if True. you don't have a problem, I just, <laughs> I'm just trying to wrap my hands you done around. You've had a baby before, so having a baby shouldn't be a problem. You you, you done had a girlfriend, or been, you done been married before. So it's not like so you, these little relationships like you went, yeah, a baby mom ain't nothing, a girlfriend ain't nothing. You done been married before. You done had a wife, so where's the girlfriend? <laughs> I want to talk to her, ma'am. <laughs> Where ma'am. are you, <laughs> <laughs> ma'am? Jesus, that's crazy. And I ain't gonna lie, pussy got power. Yeah. Pussy got power. Obviously. It do. I got one. For a weak person, though. Yeah. Because they had power for that for them two girls. Remember the baby? That was power. Pussy got power for the strong. Way to break it down. I got one. <laughs> Pussy will make men do be just. Well, on my behalf, dick could do it too. Pussy. You got a little pussy no. over there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that did that did make you just some yeah, crazy stuff. I'm telling you, when you get when that intercourse get into play. Yep. It's a. It can be a your wrap on some. Your energies combined, Entw- yeah. intertwined, soul tie, all that. I'm telling that shit is real. That's why they say be mindful who you lay with. Mm-hmm. Yes, because when you lay with somebody, you're taking souls, on their spirit. You don't know. Once y'all lock souls, y'all don't know what them souls talk about and them spirits do. It's after that's a wrap after that. Mm-hmm. That's why when people be like, why can't you get away from them? It's not that they can't. It's just something Child, yeah. is holding mm-hmm. you there. They spirit and what they spirit don't last on. It, that's it's in there. It's in there. Yeah. And then you be wondering why you can't be hearing it because you you tied to that soul. I'm telling you, like you got to be careful who you lay with. You have to be careful who you give your body to. You have to be careful. Yeah. And then it's even more tricky because you you. Because what if he lay? Oh, yeah, you're thinking you're dealing with the person on the outside of you. You don't know that inside. But, like but that. then on top of that, you're dealing with who they lay with. And and who, who they lay with. Who they lay with. Who they lay with. And maybe. He laid with that girlfriend and that tied and he may be he, he may, may be, be laying with a nigga from who's two just years crazy. Ago. Yeah. And now it done last on to him. And, uh, you could be laying with a nigga from two, three years ago. Yeah. So what do you so do you think he was probably you know, okay, let's say he was dating her. The, the present girlfriend yes. or the baby mom. Present the girlfriend. present girlfriend. Okay. Baby the wife is gone. Okay. Yeah. The present girlfriend, he was dating her and he was just like, you know what? I never do this to you. I would never cheat on you. I never do that. Mm-hmm. And because the girl, let's say she's good. Because mm-hmm. no, we just made her a bad person. Mm-hmm. But let's say she's good. She's been taking care of him. Mm-hmm. She's done got him out of this makeup a story, debt, mm-hmm. and things like that. And he's like, I never do you wrong. Let's say she told him, like, you know, I've been with so many men who did me wrong, who did this. And I just, I, you know, and then he does what he told you he would never do. do. Times 10. He done. And then, yeah, cheated, he cheated and he, and had, a he had a baby on you. And so now he's probably like, because imagine he got married. You're a good man. Mm-hmm. 
Somebody saw the good in you to marry you. And then y'all had a baby. Mm -hmm. So you're a good person. Mm -hmm. So then you get with this girl, because you and your wife, I guess, whatever happened between y'all, we don't know. And then you get with this girl, and you're like, and she's like, you know what? I've been done wrong. I've been done this. And he's like, me too. I was married. And blah, 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 blah. And I won't do it. And then you get with her, and for some reason you do it and have a baby. And now in your heart you're like, fuck, this is what I did. I done got caught. I got to fix this. Oh, this is not me. And then you kill her and you kill the baby because it's something that you said I would never do to you. Ah. But you you know what I'm over here piecing together too, though? Mm-hmm. Once a cheater, always a cheater. You know you lose me and how you get them. So but what if... Just, just maybe. Uh-huh. What if, okay, him, him, you know him and the wife, ex-wife. What if she, he started cheating on the ex-wife with, with the, the new girlfriend. girlfriend? And she probably like, don't bring this. I know me and you probably got together like this. But don't bring that shit over. We don't be. We, if me and you gonna be together, we're gonna be together. And he thought he changed. And he thought, and she thought he changed. And he thought he changed. And boom, he did it again. Flipped around and did it again. Oh! <laughs> Like, you just never know no. what could have been the situation. <laughs> like, did she take him from her or did he leave the wife for her? And then now she the girlfriend and she like, okay, now she he over here. But shit, he really still the same man. On to the next. And now she done find out about the baby and the baby mama. Now she probably like, oh, no, I'm not one of them. You right. going to have to do something about this. Mm. But my thing is, honey, leave. Yeah, if you're not ready to be with somebody, just be. I'm guess. talking about her, the, the girlfriend. Um, if this man done went and had a baby and baby mama on you, you can move yourself from the situation because clearly but you what ain't. What if he wouldn't let her go? True, baby. If that some men say you're not going. And then home. and then my thing is shit. If he'll kill a baby and a baby mama, he'll he kill, kill you. you. So we did more searching and stuff, and people were found. You know, like we said, CIA people found the wife's Facebook, and this is allegedly her Facebook. I'm, I'm sure it is. They, these people from Memphis know each other. And um, they said the wife had posted um, that, you know, she was with the guy. And what did they say? She was with him and he didn't want to change. He didn't want to change for his family. He didn't yeah, want to get right. Yeah, he didn't want to get right. For his family, he would have did right. And got for his family. Together. But she said, you live and learn and you get the fuck on. Right. So that goes back to what you were saying. Like, once a cheater, always a cheater. He probably couldn't get himself together. Moved on to that girlfriend. And then did some shit a, there. Did some shit there. Found that baby mama because he. Whatever, one happy with the girlfriend or just in his, you know. So now that goes back to you saying he tried to play God. Because what if he got with a new girlfriend, cheated on her, and he was like, fuck, I want to rewrite my life. I didn't. I don't want to cheat. I was no. trying to do better. I was trying to do this. And my thing is, what? And it could have been a blame game. Fuck, you caused this. Mm-hmm. And he and so he's like, you caused me to cheat. Mm-hmm. And you did this. And then he killed her. Because it's crazy to me, too, because, like, the girlfriend, the only one he ain't had no baby with. That we know of. Well, no, because she would have said something. Yeah. So. Well, I think we've talked enough, you guys. It's just a, it's just a sad situation. It's a sad, yeah, very sad situation. Because the first thing I thought about when I heard it, I thought about her. And I was just like, what if I woke up and my I got the news, her and her two kids were gone. I would be devastated knowing how good of a person she is. It could have been you. It could have been your sister, your mama. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, that's, it's, it's sad. Yeah. I woke up in a red, I was sick. And then to think of like her mama still living. So like to think of a mom who lost her daughter and, and then your grandchild. grandchild. And then you can't even, you can't even go and find your grandchild. You know, your grandchild is just out there. Out there. Do you know what that does to somebody? Out there in the I would be mm-hmm. in the lake. And you know where they are and you still, still can't, can't go get them. find them. You can't get them. You can't have them. That's a two-day-old baby. That grandma, there's no way she's sleeping. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You just lost your child and your grandchild. She said it in, the, in one of the news interviews. She said, I ain't been to sleep. I'm, I ain't I'm, been to sleep since I heard the news. I am sending my love and my prayers to her. Everything. Because I, oh my goodness. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't know. I couldn't even imagine where to begin to even think of how I would act. Oh, Jesus. I ain't even thinking about me, dying. I'm thinking about my kids. Right. 
I ain't worried about me. I'm I don't live. Kids. Yeah, we don't live our life. Now I we're not we're not kids. done, yeah. but we lived yeah. enough. You know what I'm my saying? Kids. Thirty years is a long time in this world. I ain't worried about. Yeah, I ain't worried about me. Yeah, your I'm kid. There, they yeah. a two year old, a two day old baby has done nothing. Nothing. You haven't even blinked a thousand times. Right. Y'all just do be. Better. Gotta do, gotta do better. Y'all just be careful. I mean, the girl was probably she, she was careful. She, you don't know, like you said, you don't know who you're laying with. So just talk to people that you're t- getting, in, getting in relationships with. Communicate. Watch them. Mm-hmm. Observe. Ask, when, ask other people about them. <laughs> when somebody shows you who they, they are, are, believe them. them. You know what I'm saying? If they say, well, I used to do this. Or if you heard shit around town, just be like, I ain't saying all of it's true. Because some people, you know, hate on folks. Yeah, yeah. But just, just it's okay to take your time. You don't have to rush. I don't know if they rushed into relationships or if they were sneaking, dating. But just take your time. I've learned, I've learned <laughs> too, though. Like, for real, I've learned. You like, not, I, I have it for because <laughs> you got to know the law gonna tell it. But now, for real, though, like what I do, like if I know people that know them, I ask about them. Mm-hmm. I just ask about them because if everybody giving me the same type of you know story about that person, but the you same don't want to learn about, somebody on your own. That, no, that's right. No, yeah, of course I do. You but just sometimes have you, a, you need a little idea of what kind of direction you this person into. exactly. Because that sometimes a person may not tell you everything they done done. But yeah. other people are going to tell it because they ain't got nothing to lose or gain. Right. So sometimes you do got to kind of ask around. So it's, so it's also be mindful who you get your information from. That too, yeah. Because sometimes yeah. you can go to folks in the station. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. it is. It's like driving a car. Right. You ain't going to just go and buy the car. Let yeah, me test no, drive it. Let me see what's drive, going let on. Let me see how it is over here. Over right. here, it's going to go backwards <laughs> that way. If I set it up, no. I need, to, I need to cover every ground. You just yeah. got to be careful. It says you got to be that way, but you got to be that way. I know because you're giving your life away. To, you're yeah. not giving it away, you're but you're your sharing space, energy. Yes, you're sharing your life yeah. with somebody now. Yeah. Well, this was a good story, guys. Um, a good story, story to discuss. Right. Um, I just send my love to all you. I send it to their family and just Definitely. take care of yourself. Like I always say, God only made one you, and if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And I hope you guys enjoyed my first visual podcast and there's going to be more in the future love you guys Bye. oh and this is star i have her name and her instagram in my link below follow me Look at- <laughs> all right bye y'all bye